Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 1-24 that is taken from chapter number 1, Stress and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. And the topic is internal loading. This is a complex problem. So statement is determine the resultant internal loading acting on the cross section of semicircular arc at C. So we have to find the internal loading at C which means that we have to find the normal force, we have to find the shear force and we have to find the movement. So I will write it, what we have to find is, we have to find internal loading which means the shear force, normal force and movement. So let's start with the solution. So first step is that if I remove this pin support at point A, so there, there will be a reaction force in Y direction which is AY and if you remove this there will be horizontal reaction force similarly there will be a vertical reaction force if we remove this roller support so that will be equal to by so what we are going to we are going to find this by and then we will cross or we will cut this arch beam over here and we will take this area in order to find internal loading at point c which is v m and n clear so let's find it now what we will do you can see that there is a angle theta is given which is theta and the radius arc is given and there is a uniformly distributed load on this arc clear so what we will go we will do is that we will take a small differential area or element for example let this is theta so this angle will be equal to d theta here and this is the portion over which we are analyzing the force so since this is distributed force so when we convert this distributed force into a point force so since this is differential force so this differential force will be equal to this w naught times this arc length which will be equal to r theta because this is r and this is d theta so it will be w naught r d theta clear now you can see that this force is acting perpendicular to it so it is also making theta with the horizontal clear and this will have two component one along x direction clear and one along y direction so we will find this two component so this is theta so this component will be equal to w naught r d theta into cos of theta and this component will be equal to w naught r d theta into sine of theta and you can see distance from this to this is r so again if i draw a perpendicular line from this point a perpendicular line from this point so you can see this distance is r so this distance will become equal to r cos theta because this is theta angle so this is r cos of theta and this remaining distance will be equal to r minus r cos of theta so r minus r cos theta is actually if you take r common so it will be 1 minus cos of theta clear now we are ready to apply the equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along uh, sum of all moment about point A is equal to 0 and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So about point A these two forces are not producing moment because they are passing through it. So first force which is producing moment about point A is By into perpendicular distance is 2R because this distance is R and this is R so it will be 2R. And this is producing counterclockwise movement, so it will be positive. So I will write by into by into two. So y should be on the lower side, on lower right side. By into two. Now the second moment will produce due to this horizontal component, which is this one, and the perpendicular distance is this one. And this distance, you can see this since this is r. So and this is theta so this component will be equal to r sine of theta. So this component multiplied by this component will give you the moment and this will produce clockwise moment so it will be negative. So I will write 
माइनस डब्ल्यू नॉट आर डी टीटा इन टू कॉज ऑफ टीटा मल्टीप्लाई बाय आर साइन टीटा एंड यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज डिफरेंशियल फोर्स सो फॉर टेकिंग द नेट फोर्स ओवर इंटायर कर्व बीम आई विल इंटीग्रेट इट सो इट विल बी इंटीग्रल ऑफ जीरो टू पाई क्लियर एंड सेम इज द केस द थर्ड फोर्स विल बी दिस डी एफ साइन टीटा विच इज डब्ल्यू नॉट आर डी टीटा साइन टीटा एंड नाउ परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस इज this one which is r into 1 minus cos theta and it is also producing clockwise movement so it will be negative so i will write minus integral of 0 to pi w not r d theta into sin theta multiply by r into 1 minus cos of theta and that is their sum of all moment about point a is equal to 0 so if you simplify it further so by multiply by 2 and that will be you can see w not into r and r these are constant so we will take it out so it will be equal to minus w not r square and integral of 0 to pi cos theta into sin theta d theta and same here we will get w not r into r is common so w not r square will be common and we will left with 0 to pi and it will be uh, sin theta into 1 minus cos theta into d theta is equal to 0 now further simplify it by into 2 is equal to by into 2r so you have to multiply it with r by into 2r so by into 2r minus um, w not r square integral of 0 to pi sin theta into cos theta into d theta minus w not uh, r square and we will have integral of 0 to pi sin theta into d theta minus integral of 0 to pi sin theta into cos theta d theta is equal to 0 okay so we will get by into 2r minus w not r square into integral of 0 to pi sin of theta into cos of theta d theta minus this will be w not r square integral of 0 to pi sin theta into d theta and that will be plus w not r square integral of 0 to pi sin theta into cos theta d theta is equal to 0 so you can see this will cancel with this and we will left with by into 2 r minus w not r square integral of 0 to pi sin theta into d theta is equal to 0 and by into 2 minus w not r square clear and that will give you uh, integral of this uh, sin theta will give you minus cos of theta from 0 to pi so we will get so this by into 2r minus w not r square and that will be minus cos of pi minus minus will be plus cos of 0 degree is equal to 0 so by into 2r minus this will w not r square and this is 2 you can calculate it this is 2 so by into 2r Minus two w not r square is equal to zero. So from here, you will get b y is equal to w not into r. Now you have this b r b y clear. So what we will go is that we will section this beam at this point and we will concentrate on this portion. So I have already 
taken this section so what we will do is that you can see you have by is this one which is by is equal to w naught into r so when you cut it so you will be having a normal force at point c let this is nc you will be having a shear force which is equal to vc clear and you will be having a moment which will be equal to mc and this is the origin or center point o so we will find this mc nc and vc what we will do is again that you can take the differential let this is the theta so we will take a differential element this will be equal to d theta so this differential element will be having a differential force which will be perpendicular to this clear and this df will be equal to w naught w naught r into d theta and again you can see the total angle is theta so this will also make it will have two component one is this one and other one is this one so this component will be equal to w naught r d theta into cos of theta and this will be equal to w naught r d theta into sine of theta okay now we'll apply equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive so you can see one force which is nc is in positive direction and the other component of this force in this negative direction there is no other horizontal force there sum must be equal to zero so i can write nc minus w naught r cos of theta into d theta since this is differential equation so if i integrate from 0 to pi clear from 0 to pi by 2 sorry pi by 2 so we will get a net force horizontal force acting on the system so i will integrate it from 0 to pi by 2 okay is equal to 0 so from here nc will be equal to integral of w naught r cos of theta into d theta and 0 to pi by 2 it will be equal to w naught r integral of 0 to pi by 2 and cos theta into d theta so when you calculate it you will get 1 from this integral of pi by 2 uh, integral of cos theta into d theta pi by 2 and you will get nc will be equal to w naught into r clear now we will find this uh, vc by using another equation of equilibrium and that is sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so you can see one force upward is w naught into r the second force is vc and the third force is this downward force so minus w naught r sine of theta into d theta and since this is differential force so for entire length from 0 to pi by 2 we will get if we integrate this force we will get a net vertical force so i will write integral of 0 to pi by 2 is equal to 0 now w naught into r plus vc and this is minus w naught r integral of 0 to pi by 2 sine of theta into d theta is equal to 0 and you will get 1 from this as well so you will get w naught into r plus vc minus w naught into r is equal to 0 so from here vc is equal to 0 it means that there is no shear force at point c and the last thing is that we will find this moment nc so what we will do is that we will apply equation that sum of all moment about point a is equal to zero taking the counterclockwise moment as positive since this force is passing through point a it is not producing moment clear and this force net force is also passing through point a it is not producing moment so only moment is produced by this by into perpendicular distance is r and nc into perpendicular distance is r so i will write nc into r 
this is producing clockwise clear mc into r this is clockwise plus this by into perpendicular distance is r and this is counterclockwise so it will be plus so by which is w naught into r and perpendicular distance is r plus this mc which uh, minus mc which is clockwise minus mc their sum must be equal to zero so nc is w naught into r so it will be minus w naught r square plus this will be w naught r square minus mc is equal to zero so it means that movement at point c will be also equal to zero so you can see we have find internal loading nc vc and mc at point c clear and that was all about this a little bit complex problem 1-24 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching me and supporting me